late night, national TV, ESPN, Heat Lakers tonight on Wednesday at 10 o'clock Eastern. I'm going to break this game down in detail for you, let you know the injury situation for both teams, who's playing, who's not, let you know my preferred side in this game, and also some additional player props you might want to look at, a complete breakdown for your late night, Wednesday night, ESPN game between the Heat and Lakers coming up free for you here in just a moment. Hi, I'm Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, back here on Wager Talk TV, and we are breaking down the late night game between Heat's Lakers, 10 o'clock Eastern, on ESPN. It's a deep NBA card tonight. This is the last game on the schedule. By the way, I do have a strong best bet in another game tonight in the NBA. Also, some college hoops best bets for my clients. Check those out right now on my page at wagertalk.com, along with daily free plays. Don't forget about those free plays posted on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. All right, this is the final game tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern. And it's a high-profile game being on national TV. Yet, we have an injury report for both teams that have some superstars maybe missing. Jimmy Butler is out. Uh, he's missed the majority of the games over the last couple weeks. And uh, he is not going to play tonight. However, it does look like Anthony Davis will play. He's listed as probable. LeBron James is listed as questionable with an illness. Um, I think he'll probably suit up, but it really might be 50-50. And if we look this afternoon on Wednesday, it's always a good indicator to look at which guys have player props, right? I've always said that's a great way to figure out who might be playing. Anthony Davis is listed on the player prop board at DraftKings, 29.5 points for him. LeBron James is also listed 27.5. So it does look like James more likely to play tonight. Uh, Davis is expected to go. And with their full strength intact, I think the Lakers are the way to play this game, minus 5.5, um, because they're coming off back-to-back -back losses. Should be a focus spot for the LA Lakers at home, a team that's only won twice in their last nine games. Uh, so they need a win. They did win their most recent home game, though, against Charlotte, a winnable game and they won that one easily by 21. Back-to-back -back road losses against good Timberwolves and Pelicans teams, now taking a step down in class against a Miami team that is shorthanded without Butler. They won four in a row without him, uh, but they have since lost back-to-back -back road games at Utah and L.A. against the Clippers. They stay in town here, but it looks like they're wearing down on this current five-game road trip. Uh, so the Lakers minus five and a half would be my preferred side tonight. As far as props, uh, Anthony Davis should have a good game against a Heat team that ranks only 27th in interior defense. Um, but once again, his total is pretty high at 29 and a half. Um, he's only gone over uh, 26 points or more. Uh, he's only gone over 26 twice in the last five games. The other thing that concerns me about Davis, these teams did play earlier this season um, in Miami, and Davis had only nine points, only took seven shot attempts, only played 24 minutes. So a little misleading there, but... Although I think Davis has a good game here against a, a subpar Miami interior defense, uh, 29.5 looks a little pricey there. James, once again, at 27.5, but he is not 100% a go, uh, so a little risk there as well. Let's look at those some Miami Heat player props. With Butler out, who's going to step up? Well, I think there's two guys that have been stepping up and will continue to do so tonight. Uh, Bam Adebayo has been playing pretty well. His point total tonight is set at 22.5. Uh, I like Adebayo over 22.5 points. Uh, this is a guy that had only 21 in that Clipper loss, but it was a blowout loss. Keeping money at 28 against the Jazz. Um, and he has had 26 and 28 in two of his other three games after having just 21 against the Clippers. So I think there's some bounce back potential there from Bam at a Bayou. And he had 22, by the way, in the first meeting this season. Uh, but was just 9 for 20 shooting. Took a lot of shot attempts. In fact, he and Hero each took 20 shot attempts. Jimmy Butler played the first game against the Lakers this season. And he had 15 shot attempts. And Butler uh, had 15 and played um, 36 and a half minutes. Adebayo and Hero played with Butler and each had 40 had 40 combined shot attempts, 20 each. Uh, Hero actually in that game had 22. Adebayo had 22. And that was with Butler taking some more shots and hit scoring 28. Now Butler's out and we get Hero and Adebayo over 22 and a half. Hero 23 and a half. I think it makes sense. They put up 22 each with Butler. They put up more without him tonight. So I like Bam Adebayo over 22.5 points, Tyler Hero over 23.5, and, and I think the Lakers are the preferred side if you're looking at the point spread in this game to bounce back at home off back-to-back -back road losses minus the 5.5. That's a breakdown for you of the Heat Lakers at 10 o'clock Eastern tonight on ESPN Wednesday night, late night. Don't forget, if you want my strongest personal NBA best bet tonight, and you should pay attention, by the way, 2023, the year that just ended, nobody won more in the NBA at Wager Talk than I did. I was 103-63. and 63. That's right. Up 40 net games in just one year, up over 130 units in the NBA last season. And we're going to start it off right with my first official NBA best bet for 2024, and it goes tonight on Wednesday. Got some college hoops as well. In fact, college hoops wins also. College and pro football win, baseball wins. In fact, 2022 and 2023, the last two years combined, I'm number one in all sports units, one on sides. 
I've got some more strong ones going tonight in College of Pro Hoops. Not a bad time, by the way, with the new year to consider a serious all-sports investment, a consider a consistent investment approach for this entire year. And to make it even more appealing, I've given you an instant 41% discount with promo code SM365. It gets you a full 365 days of my football, baseball, and basketball, college and pro, every sport, every day, for just over $3 a day. But you got to have that promo code SM365. Full details are on my page right now, along with those daily bonus free plays. Check it out. SteveMerrillWagerTalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut WT.buzz slash SM. Follow me on Twitter as well, at Steve Merrill. Two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on Twitter. Also post free plays throughout the week on Instagram. Follow me on IG. And don't forget to comment below. I read all the comments. I reply back. Let me know your thoughts on this late night game between the Heat and Lakers. But more importantly, other NBA best bets you like tonight. Throw in a couple sentences of analysis as well. Let's learn and earn together here on Wager Talk TV. Comment below. I reply back. I read them all. And don't forget, thumbs up, a like, subscribe, and hit the bell for instant alerts so you know when my NFL Fade the Public video is live this weekend for Week 18. And stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for more great college and pro basketball preview videos for Wednesday coming up next.